Hello and welcome to Saki Tech. So in today's video, I will be going over logical operators in C++ programming tutorial series. Now this will be tutorial number 9 and I do recommend that you go and watch the previous tutorials so you can understand this one better. Uh, if you go to my channel and navigate to my C++ programming playlist, you will find all my C++ videos. Uh, so let's get to business. Logical operators in C++. So basically there are three logical operators in C++. First one is called the NOT operator. Second one is called the AND operator. And the third one is called the OR operator. And uh, this is how they're represented in C++. So the NOT operator is simply let me get this an exc exclamation point the or operator is just two lines and the and operator is just two and symbols so let's go over each one of these and see exactly what they do okay so the not operator performs a boolean operation not so all you do is you have one operand to the right side of this guy of the not operator the only thing the not operator does is to inverse the value of this operand and this operand is either false or true okay so the not operator always ha always has one operand right next to it on the right side and the value of this is either false or true but the not inverses that value so if you say not true it's false not false is true okay so let's delete all these guys and take a look at some examples so let's say we have an expression and the expression says 5 is equal to 5 so normally this evaluates to true if I put a not right here this will evaluate to false so let us declare a boolean variable just um, um, final value okay so here we have a boolean variable called final value this can be either true or false nothing else because it's of type boolean so let's say boolean final value was assigned to 5 equals 5 at this point final value becomes true the moment I put the not operator in front of the 5 equals 5 the final value variable becomes false okay so uh, let's uh, do one more let's say final value assigned to not true now true is a keyword in C++ okay and it's exactly what it means it's the boolean value true okay so not true makes final value false and then one more false is just like true it's a it's a um, reserved word in C++ and it holds the boolean value false so not false not false becomes true okay so the not operator can have some really complicated operands on the right side it doesn't have to be one little thing it could be a plus b plus d larger than a minus b times x plus why okay so because we have a relational operator here which we talked about in our previous module this expression is going to yield either true or false because you're comparing this one here this expression here with this expression okay so this expression could be true or false we don't know that let's say it's true the not makes that into a false and then the false gets assigned to final value so that is all uh, that is all you need to know about the not operator 
let's move on to AND and OR. Okay, so with the AND operator, you actually have two operands. So NOT only had one operand. It's NOT whatever. The AND operator has one operand, operand 1 on this side, and another operand on this side. So operand 1 and operand 2. Either one of these operands will be either false or true. What you have to know is what happens if you have false and false. Okay, so false and false is equal to false. And then you have to know what is false and true. That equals to false as well. And then you have to know what is false, actually true and false that is also false and then what is true and true that is in fact true so with the end operator the only time you get the answer true is when both sides are true okay just think of this as a um, let's think about this how can we use this in real life let's say you wrote a program and you asked a person their age and their gender. So the person put 18 as their age and they put male as their gender. So what you can do is you can do something like this. If the person's age is over 18 and they're male, then do this. So it kind of it kind of works in a decision making process. All these logical operators come into play when you're making decisions. So if a, let's say you have a customer um, and he types in his, his uh, zip code, okay? And you can be like, if the zip code is equal to blah, 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 then we can deliver the package by tomorrow, okay? So stuff like that is where you're gonna be using the logical operators. So remember the, that the fact that the end operator has two operands, and then the only time you get true is when both values are true. Okay, for example, if the customer is over 18, and if they're a male, then do this. Just think about it like that. So let's move on to the OR operator. So OR is um, represented with these two lines. So how does or or work? So let's um, change all these guys. And I just want to let you know this is not this is not a correct syntax. I'm just taking notes here. Okay, this is not a C plus plus stuff. This is C plus plus correct syntax. This is I'm just taking notes here. Okay, so let's uh, change all these to or or. So. What is false or false? It's false. What is false or true? It's actually, oop, let's take that off. It's actually true. What is true and false? It's also true. What is true and true? It's also true. So it's almost like the reverse of the end operator. With the or, the only time you get the false is when you get false on both sides. So false or false is always false anything that is a true in there becomes true okay so let's delete these and show you some uh, real C++ examples so let's take a look, look at this expression right here if 7 is equal to 7 and 3 is larger than 50 what is the actual answer to this? You know what? I'm still going to be taking notes. I'm not going to do C++ just yet. So is 7 equal to 7? True. And then we still have the end. Is 3 larger than 50? False. So what is the answer? With the end, remember, anytime you have false anywhere, the answer is false. Okay? And let's do the same thing for OR. So delete this right here. 
Let's see, we have an OR. So, is 7 equal to 7? True. OR is 3 larger than 50? False. So remember again, with the OR, anytime you have true anywhere, the answer yields true. Okay? So that's how easy this is. Again, you're going to be using the, the NOT, oops, the NOT operator, the END operator, and the OR operator in decision making. So, for example, you can have something like this, and don't, don't think too much about this. I'm going to go into IF statements in the next video. So, let's say we had IF um, 5 is equal to 5 and 7 is equal to 7 then what you can do is you can print something okay this is a very simple 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 example you can have this on the new line too so if 5 is equal to 5 and 7 is equal to 7 then print something if it's not true it's not gonna print something okay so let's run that real quick see what happens let's do a save again this is a very simple example okay we can have a really 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 complicated expression in here the thing is the bottom line is this has to be either true or false it's the decision making process so let's um i saved it already so build and run okay we're getting some errors here a, B wasn't declared, D wasn't declared, X wasn't declared, so none of these variables here were declared. So we're going to take this line off. Okay. So let's save this file again. Build and run. Okay. So as you can see, because 5 is equal to 5 and 7 is equal to 7, we did print something. Okay. And what we could have also done was else, we could have done else print nothing again this is a very weak example we'll go into the details so let's say we have a false in there somewhere so is 6 equal to 7 no it's not so this is gonna be false and remember with the end anytime you see a false the expression comes up as false so if this is false we're not going to do this. We're going to skip this. We're going to skip straight to else. Okay, so let's do that. Build and run. Okay, so as you can see, we printed nothing. Because the expression here evaluated to false. So that's how if else works. Anyway, in the next um, couple modules, we're going to go into all the details you need to know about if and else. I just want to um, make it clear to you guys that you're using all these relational operators, these logical operators, these equality operators that we went over in this module and the previous modules to make decisions just like this, but they're going to be much more advanced than this. Okay, you can make games this way. So let's, um, let's end this tutorial for now. And in the next tutorial, we'll go into more detailed and more advanced stuff. Okay, so we are at the end of this tutorial. Please subscribe to my channel for more C++ videos to come. And click the like button if you liked this video. And thank you for watching. And also, don't forget, I have many more C++ videos to watch. Um, go to my channel and navigate to C++ programming tutorials to see them all. They're all free and uh, pretty much you, I highly recommend that you go over all of them in a sequential order. Okay, well, thank you very much. Have a good day.